हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू जी सी ए आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड सो टूडेज वीडियो इज रिगार्डिंग द डिफरेंस बिटवीन प्लास्टिक एंड क्रूज मिसाइल एंड एज ए मैंशन इन माई लास्ट वीडियो विच वॉज रिगार्डिंग द मिसाइल सिस्टम ऑफ इंडिया दैट दिस क्वेश्चन इज आस्ट इन दी एस एस बी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन प्लास्टिक एंड क्रूज मिसाइल सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द डिफरेंस सो अगेन विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट अस स्टार्ट एंड सी वट इज द मेजर डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज मिसाइल्स But before starting, let me tell you one thing. If you wish to join the Instagram account of this channel, Gentleman Cadet Academy, then the photo is shown in front of you. You can search the username provided, and you can join if you wish. So let us start the video. Talking about the ballistic missiles first. Ballistic missiles follows a free fall trajectory, or we can call it as the ballistic trajectory, and these are mainly used for ground targets. Ballistic missile is only initially powered. Like there are different. Uh, phases during the course of a missile for example the initial phase then the mid course phase and final phase which is the terminal phase and during the initial phase they are powered by rocket motors which use different kind of fuels like liquid propellant or the solid fuel and once they are powered during the initial phase then their rest of the flight is governed by the gravity or the air resistance and they are of different types for example short range medium range and long range the long range missiles spends most of their time out of the earth atmosphere and then in the final stage which is the terminal stage they return back to the earth atmosphere and hit the desired target so because these missiles spends most of their time out of the earth atmosphere so they have longer range as compared to the cruise missiles and the blasting missiles that are held with the indian armed forces include the prithvi missile system the agni missile system and the dhanush missile system while in case of cruise missiles these are aerodynamically guided that remains within the earth atmosphere and they fly at approximately constant speed throughout its flight they have better accuracy and therefore are used against high value target at long ranges like ships bridges dams and communication centers because they have low error probability and these missiles are capable of traveling at supersonic speed which means the higher than the speed of the sound and these are powered by economical jet engines so because of which they are more cheaper more mobile more accurate and more versatile as compared to the ballistic missiles and the examples of the cruise missiles that are held with the indian armed forces include brahmos missile shore missile and air bhai missile so summing up the major difference so ballistic missiles are governed by rocket motors as compared to the cruise missiles which are aerodynamically guided and ballistic missiles can travel longer ranges as compared to the cruise missiles whereas cruise missiles have better accuracy and low error probability because of which they are mainly used against high value targets like communication centers ships and submarines so friends this is all about the difference between ballistic and cruise missiles and i hope you have understood the major difference so this is all about today's video and uh, we'll see you in the next video stay tuned and keep preparing mm -hmm.